The talk has established itself as a daytime TV staple for more than 2 million Americans. So when co-host Sarah Gilbert announced her exit in April 2019, the impact was deeply felt. Let's take a closer look at the real reason she's leaving the hit show she helped create. Sarah Gilbert earned two Emmy Awards for her work on The Talk, and for the majority of the nine seasons that she worked on the show, the star pulled double duty, serving as both a host and executive producer for more than 1,100 episodes. Gilbert gave up the producing gig in 2016, but the show has obviously remained a major part of her life. It's clear that she didn't take the decision to leave lightly. Gilbert explained her motivations by saying that the workload had left her life feeling, quote, slightly out of balance, with not as much time to spend with her three children as she would otherwise have liked. She made the impending departure official with a tearful on-air announcement. It's difficult because this is a place that I love and a place that I'm extremely happy. And Remember the Roseanne reboot? That was a fun couple of months. And reportedly, Gilbert's work on the talk is the reason the classic sitcom was revived in the first place. A comedy skit on the program in 2017 saw the actress reprise her role as Darlene alongside John Goodman, and their reunion was wildly well-received. God, I don't know how to say this. I'm a talk show host. <laughs> The short skit led to more serious discussions about bringing back the sitcom, with Gilbert playing a major role in bringing the rest of the cast back to the table. But even in their wildest dreams, no one involved could have predicted the revival's success. When it returned in 2018, it quickly became the most-watched TV show in America by an incredible margin, at times drawing 25 million viewers per episode. But the joy was short-lived. Just months after its March debut, Roseanne was cancelled in May, after the show's star, Roseanne Barr, took to Twitter with one ill-advised remark too many. After Barr was fired for some especially inflammatory remarks, the remaining creative team was left scrambling to figure out a way to try and save the show. But how do you make Roseanne without Roseanne? As Gilbert told New York Times, I felt like people weren't done watching the show, and we didn't want to take it away from them. We just didn't want to end on that note. We wanted to try to preserve the legacy. The solution was to kill off Barr's character and relaunch the program as a sequel series called The Connors, with Gilbert taking the helm. This meant she basically had to fill Roseanne's shoes, a much larger commitment than she'd initially signed up for. Suddenly, Darlene wasn't just a side character, she was a family matriarch, and the reluctant main character of one of the most popular shows on TV. Unsurprisingly, the Connors debuted to poorer ratings than Roseanne, with viewership reportedly declining by about 35% between premieres. But despite the natural drop-off, the show remained wildly popular. For Gilbert, the workload was demanding both in front of and behind the camera. Like she'd previously done on The Talk and Roseanne, Gilbert started pulling double duty on the set of The Connors, working as both a performer and a producer. She also sometimes works behind the scenes with the writing staff, an unusual arrangement for the typical sitcom actor. After after its first season, The Connors was consistently ABC's most-watched sitcom, earning far more viewers than a typical episode of The Talk. Sarah Gilbert inadvertently found herself in the middle of two of TV's biggest scandals of 2018, Roseanne's self-inflicted fall from grace and the multiple sexual assault allegations leveled at CBS network chief Les Moonves. The Moonves scandal prompted the talk co-host Julie Chen Moonves, the accused executive's wife, to abruptly quit the show in solidarity with her husband, whom she publicly supported, a position which may have put her at odds with the rest of the talk's panel. The circumstances of Chen's departure from the talk was undeniably hard on the rest of the panel. The TV personality spent nearly a decade on the show alongside Gilbert, who describes Chen's exit as being difficult for her. Speaking in an interview with the New York Times, Gilbert said, All of it, the circumstances around it, was something that none of us wanted to have happen or to find out about. I know that she felt that it was time to go be with her family. For Gilbert, the high-profile personnel shakeup, along with her rising responsibilities with the Connors, may have signaled to her that it was time to go. In addition to her day-to-day -day responsibilities on the job she already has, Gilbert has kept busy expanding her world outside of the Roseanne universe. While her time always looked packed before, now she's receiving more career opportunities both in front of and behind the camera than she knows what to do with. I'm starting to develop more things to produce and I'm having opportunities to act. I was looking at the next six months and just thinking, there's not time. In short, the roller coaster of 2018 left her with more options than ever. Outside of the talk on the Connors, she's been featured in six episodes of the CBS series Living Biblically and also made appearances in a handful of other series. So while Sarah Gilbert may be leaving the talk, she's definitely not leaving the airwaves. After nearly 10 years of talking, Hollywood has come knocking, and she's seizing the opportunity for success. 
Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.